Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to relink your tables to your split Microsoft Access database when your backend database file has been renamed or moved. Today's question comes from Nicholas in Baltimore, Maryland, one of my Platinum members. Nicholas says, I recently installed a new file server. This involved moving everything around, including my Access backend database file. I split my database like you instructed in your video. Now I'm getting a runtime error 3024 with Access saying it can't find the file. How do I fix this? Well, Nicholas, if you move your backend file or you put it on a computer that is named differently, like you went from server to DB server or something, essentially you just have to relink those linked tables and tell Access where to find your backend database file. And it's real easy to do. Let me show you how to do it. For the rest of you, if you don't know what splitting your database is, go watch my split database video. It's free. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. There's the link. I'll put a link down below. You can click on in the description. Go watch that so you understand what splitting a database is all about. Okay, so here I have a copy of my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website. You can go grab a copy if you want to, but this will work with any database file. Now, the Tech Help free template... It's got everything together in one database file because it's only a single user database. So let's go ahead and create a folder, new folder. And this is where my back end files are going to go. This can be a server folder or whatever. And if you watch the split database video, like you should have, then you know what this means. All right, so let's go split that database real quick. Database tools, move data, and then access database. We're going to split the database. All right, where do you want to put it? Well, it's sitting on my desktop in that back end folder, right? We're going to drop it in there. And I'm going to call this my back end ACCDB hit split. All right. Database successfully split. And now all of these tables are linked to that new split file, right? So there's the back end and my back end file. Let me open that up. All right. There it is right there. Back end that ACCDB. If I open that guy up, you'll see in there's just my tables, right? And if I go back to the front end file which is sitting on my desktop right there open that guy up come on access takes forever sometimes to open up there it goes all right you can see these guys are all linked now if you hover over these you can see right there is the location see users amacur it's short for amacron don't ask amacron desktop backend back on that accb that's where my backend file got put now here's the problem that nicholas is running into he moved this folder so let's say the folder changed all right, let's rename it now to new. Whoop, let me try that again here. Click, click, and then new backend. Okay, now if I try to open this guy up, it's trying to find that backend folder or basically his old file server. All right, it looks like it opens just fine, but as soon as you try to access any tables, you get this. All right, not a valid path. This is the runtime 3044 that he's getting. Actually, I'm getting a 3044. You might get a 3024. There's a couple of different ones. Bottom line is Access can't find the backend file. So we're going to hit end. Then we're going to go to external data, linked table manager. Open that guy up. Now it shows you here that Access is looking for the data source there in the backend folder, but it's not there anymore. And if you hit this little plus over there, you'll see all the tables that, it, it's our, that Access is expecting to find in that file. I can't talk today. Not enough coffee. I've only had three. Okay, now you can link these individually to different files if you want to. That's a different class if you got multiple backend files. All right, but we're just going to link all of them. So click that. All right, now don't hit refresh. Refresh says go out to the same file and try to find them again. No, 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 no. We're going to click relink. All right, relink that. All right, pick your folder and your file. So go back to my desktop, new backend, wherever it's located. Click on the file and then click on OK. Now this comes up and it's a little confusing. It says by default, all selected tables will be relinked to tables with the same name in the new data source. Yeah, that's what we want. Would you like to relink the selected tables to tables with different names? Most people hit yes here and then go through a whole crazy stuff. Basically, if you want to give the tables different names, say yes, but we don't want to. The default value should be no here. We want no. So to go to that new file, new backend, and you should see succeeded over here. It's going to find all the same names and relink them all the same. And that's it. Hit close. And now we can open up our database again. And it's pointing to the new location. See? That's all. 
It's that one prompt that it's kind of confusing for people. Want to learn more? In the extended cut, 15 minutes long, I will show you how to relink your tables using VB code without having to use the link table manager. Basically, your database will start up. The front end will look for the back end files and say, hey, I don't see your back end tables. Where'd they go? It'll pop up a little message. It'll say, hey, it looks like your tables have moved. Please select where your back end data file went. It's a little prompt right here, right? You pick the file, and then it will relink them automatically for you. That's all covered in the extended cut, 15 minutes long. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members can download these databases. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free access beginner level one course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from accesslearningzone.com.